What's up, superstars? Today, I am here to talk to you about shoes. What shoes to wear for Zumba? I get this question a lot. And uh, shoes are definitely a matter of personal preference. So if you disagree with something I'm going to say here, word. You are totally allowed your own opinion and get what works for you. But I have been teaching for 10 years now. And these are a few of the things I've learned along the way. Okay, a canvas shoe like Converse or Keds or Vans are great for the street, not great for Zumba. Not nearly enough support, and sometimes the soles are just too thin like pancakes. Okay, so this is a running shoe, and you'll notice it has this really high heel that's gonna be tough for you if you're trying to go up on your toes. And it's also got this sort of rocking motion see how it's curved like that that's gonna propel you forward if you're running but it's gonna make it really tricky if you're trying to do all the side to side lateral movement that we do in class all right so this is another running shoe and it's a really good quality shoe especially for running but if you look at it the tread on the bottom this is meant to propel you forward and again it's not gonna be great for all of the sort of twisting motions that we do in class Okay, this is a shoe by Rika, and this is a um, brand that a lot of instructors swear by. And one thing I wanna show you, any shoe that has this sort of spin spot on the bottom is good for training, but it's also gonna be great for Zumba because obviously we're gonna do a lot of turning. So for the most part, Rika shoes are great, but I would specifically look for this type of a training shoe as opposed to a running or even a walking shoe. It's gonna have pretty decent flexibility usually the only thing i don't like about it is that it doesn't have any sort of leather or even plastic reinforcement here at the toe which is going to keep your toes from coming through the end of that shoe with wear here's another rika shoe that i really like it has that spin spot on the bottom and it has this reinforcement on the toe which i think is great and if you look at the lacing system on the side here as you pull these laces this is going to pull it nice and tight around the arch of your foot so that the shoe is going to move with you as opposed to you moving around inside the shoe so these kind of elasticy mesh shoes are really popular right now they're probably super cool and great for walking. I mean, cool in the sense of not sweaty. Um, but what I don't like about them is that they're kind of stretchy and that's gonna be terrible for class because it's not gonna hold your foot. When you move, when you go to uh, have any lateral movement or spinning or anything, your foot is gonna stretch that shoe and it can be really unsafe. So if you've had any sort of a dance background, you might get super excited about a shoe like this. Uh, it kind of resembles a jazz shoe. It has this nice thin sole that's great for articulation in the foot. The problem with these kind of shoes, and I did wear them when I first started doing Zumba, they just don't have enough cushioning. And in my opinion, I'm not a podiatrist, but in my opinion, you're gonna aggravate conditions like plantar fasciitis and then all the way up through the kinetic chain through your legs and your knees and your hips. You just, you need a little more cushion than this. Okay, let's talk about high tops. Uh, this is purely personal preference. I wear high tops and low tops. Um, the advantage to high tops is that they're going to support your ankle really well in the event that you are going to be doing any sort of twisting motion, which we do plenty of. And again, this has a nice looking sole for class. So I would definitely recommend, and this shoe is leather. So while it may be a little hot for the warmer months, it's going to really support your foot. I would say buy it just slightly snug because it is going to stretch as you wear it. Okay, this is almost certainly a walking shoe, but this is something that I would find reasonable for class. It's got a nice cushioning. Um, it has a reinforced toe. Soles are decent. They're not huge um, running shoe tread, so that would be good. And the last thing I wanna talk about is this lateral stability. So if you look at the back of the shoe, see how the heel is a little wider? It comes past the shoe. That's gonna help you when you do side to side movements. So if you look at something like this, See how it's narrower whereas this one is going to support you as you move to the side now we've got something like this which is a little too wide so it's kind of like the goldilocks of heels here find one that's going to give you enough lateral stability without being just way too big okay so by now you're saying to yourself 
just tell me what shoes to buy. So I'm back at home and I'm gonna show you some of the shoes that I wear for class. Okay, this is a shoe that I sometimes wear for class. This is the Vita RZX by Rika. And uh, at the time that I'm making this video, which is 2022, this shoe is still available in stores and online. It checks all the boxes for me. It has the reinforced toe. It has the lacing system around the arch of the foot that I like. It's got a decent amount of cushioning, but not too much. And of course it has that spin spot. And one more little instructor secret for you. Uh, I like a shoe with a removable insole because I've had plantar fasciitis before and I like to put in special plantar fasciitis insoles. Okay, so here is the million dollar question. What about the Zumba brand shoes? Well, before I talk to you about Zumba brand shoes, I want to say this. I am not in the business of selling Zumba brand shoes. I am in the business of making sure you have the best possible time at class and that you avoid injury. That said, I resisted using the Zumba brand shoes for years. I didn't really like them, but in recent years, they have sort of retooled them and I have been very impressed with the quality. Um, and I do actually wear Zumba brand shoes almost exclusively now. Um, they just have worked out really well for me. Not all styles. There are particular styles of Zumba brand shoes that I like, and I'll show you those now. Okay, this is a pair of Zumba brand shoes that I really, really like for class. It is their air low top style. As you can see, it's got this kind of cushion bubble in the back. It has not too thick of a sole, but there's still plenty of cushioning in there. Um, it doesn't have a spin spot, but obviously the treads are designed for doing Zumba. It has a reinforced toe. This is one of the better lacing systems that Zumba has, where it has this kind of um, plasticky or leathery material here. If you see other styles of Zumba where they don't have that, I, I tend to avoid those. Again, it's all personal preference, but uh, again, leather here. I like having that sort of reinforcement. And then this is part of the lacing system as well, where it pulls it tightly around the top of your foot. If you're thinking about more of a high top style, Zumba tends to release these more in the colder months, the fall and winter. And whenever I see um, a set that's leather, I don't think they're real leather, I think they're like vegan leather. But whenever I see that, I grab them because as I said to you before, I particularly like a leather or pleather shoe for support. Again, reinforced toe, laces are good. You've got that ankle support and you've got the spin spot. All right, one last thing I wanna to talk to you about is the cost. How much do you spend on your shoes? So I do hear people say, oh, the Zumba shoes, they're kind of expensive, different shoes, oh, they're really pricey. But put it this way, I think that you should spend as much as you can on your shoes that you wear for Zumba, and here's why. If you're taking class multiple times a week, you're committed to this. This is something that you deserve to do your best at. And having the right shoe that's well-made, that's supportive, is going to help you have a better time in class. And it's gonna help you avoid injury. It's gonna help you feel better after class. You're gonna have a better recovery. Um, and so I am a big proponent on spending as much as you can afford on your Zumba shoes. If nothing else, you can have all the cute workout gear that you want, whatever, spend the money on your shoes. Okay, well, I really hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if you have comments, please go ahead and drop them below. If you would like to try the Zumba brand shoes, I do have an instructor code for 10% off. I'm gonna put it right here. And um, otherwise, go ahead, check out Rika brand, hit up your local shoe store and see if there's any that strike your fancy. Although you may have better luck ordering online depending what you're looking for. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in class.